find product links below and hundreds more videos on my channel. Hey guys, welcome back. So uh, right now I'm doing a uh, walkthrough of a house, doing that on the Glidecam. And uh, basically it's a part of uh, selling the property. It's a part of a commercial video for the property. Um, we're doing a bunch of properties around here. Look at that freaking view, man. Amazing, amazing. Uh, so I'm gonna take you through it together with me give you some tips, um, hopefully some stuff that will apply to other things as well, not just commercial, but uh, basically to doing shots that require getting a window uh, exposed properly and stuff like that. So um, basically, first of all, I'm gonna be shooting this in shutter priority. So I've got my shutter set to 1 50th of a second. My aperture's closed all the way down to f22, which means I'm, uh, because it's really bright, I'm trying to block out most of that light and this lens is the 14 millimeter. Uh, I'm not gonna very easily be able to get a filter onto there. So F22, perfectly fine. And uh, I've got, as you can see, as I move, the exposure changes. And unfortunately, it's just something I have to deal with. Uh, hold on, let me turn up my walkie talkie. There we go. So basically, I'm gonna do that. I'm going all the way from the outside. Things to prepare. Uh, things like turning on the lights if they're nice, making sure the place is clean, which is not really my job, but you know, I went around, uh, made sure there was no uh, dirt or whatever. Little dirt and stuff and dust isn't going to make a difference, but I mean, uh, you know, something that someone left around or whatever. And then uh, you could turn on the lights, but uh, I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to make sure that my stuff is hidden. I'm not going to keep it on me just because it's. Uh, going to be a little easier for me to walk around. And then I've opened the doors so they look uh, nice and presentable and that's pretty much it. I'm going to do the walkthrough and I'll take you with me. And this uh, is my first go so I may have to do another run or so but I'll basically take you through a run and even though it's not perfect uh, that's the one that uh, I'll post with this video. So uh, alright let's get started. I'm going to start at the outside of the house. Uh, now ISO is set to 100. And um, 5D Mark III, recording just on a regular mode, not using anything uh, like Magic Lantern for this. And uh, so I'd like to show the property from the outside as well. I've already got lots of shots of uh, the outside uh, and I'm actually going to do some more later. Uh, but okay, this uh, should be a nice starting spot over here. And uh, so I'm already recording. So. Now I'm going to post a separate video regarding how I actually walk with the glide cam. I'm going to tilt it down here. And then do a really sl slow down here. Show the view. And then turn. And uh, that basically just really trying to simulate what it would be like to come into this house, live here, that kind of thing. Slowly come up to the window and pause. Look both ways. Gorgeous view. And then I'm gonna back out slowly. Switch hands and spin the camera to see this bathroom, which is really dark, but uh, that's why I have a 5D Mark III. By the way, if you need a camera that is very good in low light, but that doesn't cost as much as a 5D Mark III, then uh, have a look at the Nikon uh, D5200 and uh, it has uh, some things which are not perfect so it's a crop uh, sensor camera which means well most people well many people at least say they would prefer full frame but it's also a very 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 cheap camera so uh, it's got a, it's got fantastic image quality and Really good in low light, really nice clean image. I'm gonna show the view out of the window and the other side, and then I'm gonna turn it 
turn around, back up as much as I can, and then go into here, and turn into the bathroom, specifically told by uh, the client, uh, which is uh, the person I'm shooting with, that the toilet seats must be down, which makes sense. It's these little things that you need to pay attention to that are gonna make the difference potentially between a person really liking this place or them deciding to go for another place. So over here, again, gonna go right up to the window and show the view. And I'm gonna try and fit my lens through there. Amazing. I don't know why they put these freaking bars here. But oh well. I suppose if someone comes in, they don't like them, they can take them out. And I believe that was actually the end of the walkthrough because I was told that once it goes out the window and shows the window, that would be the fade out. So uh, I hope you found that helpful. I'm gonna post uh, some more videos uh, with some other tips about uh, what I'm doing here in Italy. But uh, yeah, feel free to ask me any questions below. I think I may have forgotten some stuff here, so if I did, I'll like maybe put some notes over the video. And um, all right guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.